Hi there everyone, my name is Chris Rosser and I'm Head of Field Applications at Fluso. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of our FSE122 Flow Velocity and Temperature Measurement Module. This module uses our FLS122 sensor to measure flow velocity and temperature in situ in your system. You have the option of calibration in situ to get the best possible accuracy and because this is a module, it's quick to integrate and it shortens the time to market because it's plug and play on a standard I2C interface and 3.3 volt power supply. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the module on the bench. We're going to be looking at how to integrate the module into a simple system using our evaluation kit. And I'm also going to be showing you how to calibrate the module in system to get the best possible accuracy. It's a lot to cover in one video, so let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. Let me take you through the FSE122 on the bench. You can see we have this elongated PCB that projects the sensor, the FLS122, out into the flow path. The FLS122 is a bi-directional flow velocity and temperature sensor, and you can see that we have direction arrows marked for the positive and negative flow direction for the sensor. A small microcontroller drives the sensor, reads the analog signals from the sensor, applies a calibration, and temperature correction and converts those analog signals to a digital measurement of flow velocity and temperature that's provided over the I2C bus. This module is designed to push into this Sullen's board edge connector to make all of the connections necessary for data and power to the device. Fluso provide this adapter board which converts this board edge connector to our standard evaluation kit connector so that you can be up and running and measuring flow velocity and temperature in your system within minutes of getting hold of the FSE122 evaluation kit. Now I'm going to take you through some of the features of the FSE122 module using the evaluation kit GUI and Fluso USB to I2C adapter that's provided in the FLS122 evaluation kit. To start with, we're going to just check that everything's connected and start the sensor to make sure that we're getting flow or um, velocity readings and flow temperature readings as well. Once we have those readings, we can stop the sensor. And before using the sensor for the first time, I would always recommend doing a flow temperature and zero point offset for the sensor. That will make sure that the flow temperature sensor is reading accurately and that the offset for zero flow is correctly determined. To do that, it's really easy. We're just going to click the flow temperature offset button, enter the current ambient temperature, and making sure that there's no flow through the sensor or no velocity of air flowing past the sensor, we just click go. And that determines the flow temperature offset correction. Once we've done that, we can click the zero point offset button, and that will determine the zero flow point. So again, we're going to make sure that there's no flow through the sensor at this point and click go. And once that's been determined, we can start the sensor and we should get an accurate reading of zero flow and an accurate reading of ambient temperature as well. You can see here that we're measuring between zero and 0 0.01 meters per second. So effectively zero. Now that we've done our zero point offsets, we can do a calibration in system to achieve the best possible accuracy. To do that, we're going to use this calibration tool and we're going to select our measurement basis. For flow velocity measurement, we're going to want to select volumetric flow and our measurement unit is going to be meters per second in this case, but you can enter any string of up to four characters to describe the units that you're going to be using. These don't affect the numerical output from the sensor. This is just a human readable um, unit string. For the calibration curve, you can select a cubic or a quartic fit. I would start with a cubic fit and only move to quartic if you're operating over a very wide dynamic range, you're using lots of set points for your calibration, and you're struggling for accuracy at the extremes of your measurement range. Once we've done all that, we can select flow pressure manual for the FSE 122 because this module doesn't have a pressure sensor on board and we can do our zero point offset. Making sure there's no flow through the sensor, we click go, and that determines the zero point offset. And then we can enter our set points. Here I've got 10 equally spaced set points from two meters per second up to 20 meters per second. 
and we can go through applying the correct amount of flow velocity and then recording the calibration point by clicking go here. So I'll do the first one now, set two meter per second. And then click go. Then we would change our set point to four meters per second. And once that is stabilized, click go again and continue with this process until we've done all of our set points. Once all of the set points have been entered, you can click calibrate and then you'll get a calibration report like this to indicate that calibration has completed successfully. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the FSE 122 flow sensor module. If you're looking for more information, including documentation and data sheets, please follow the links down in the video description. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, from myself and everyone here at Fluso, I hope you have a great day.